West Nile virus is a disease transmitted to people from mosquitoes. However, people cannot transmit West Nile virus person to person. The virus is actually maintained in nature in a bird, mosquito, bird cycle. So mosquitoes get the virus from the bird and then transmit it to people. People bitten by an infected mosquito may have no symptoms whatsoever. In fact, about 80% of individuals bitten by an infected mosquito will show no symptoms at all. However, 20% of individuals will develop mild to moderate flu-like symptoms, and some of those individuals will develop very severe neurologic illness. Um, West Nile virus can be fatal. In fact, of the approximately 3,000 cases detected in California since 2003, about 100 people have died. There are three things that people can do to reduce their risk of being bitten by a mosquito. The first is to look around your property to see if there's any standing water and to dump out any standing water. Uh, this can be in bird baths, backyard ponds, buckets, children's swimming pools, because mosquitoes breed in water. So first, do what you can to get rid of mosquito breeding sites on your property. Second, if you're going to be outside, especially at dawn and dusk, wear repellent. We recommend uh, repellent containing DEET, but there are other active ingredients that are also effective. The third thing that people should try to do when possible is to wear protective clothing. So a lightweight long sleeve shirt, for instance, will help protect you from being bitten by mosquitoes. There are several things that individuals can do to help lessen the risk of West Nile virus transmission in their area. As mentioned, they can reduce the amount of standing water on their property, but they can also report dead birds to our West Nile virus hotline, which is 877-WNV-BIRD. And it's important to report dead birds to this hotline because we test dead birds to determine whether they died from West Nile virus infection. And this tells us whether West Nile virus is active. Pets are bitten by mosquitoes, but fortunately, cats and dogs are not very susceptible to West Nile illness. So you don't really need to worry about your cats and dogs. However, if you are a horse owner, it's extremely important that you get that horse vaccinated as soon as possible and get a booster shot every year. Mm -hmm.